we're talking about uh, DJI uh, NASA quad that fell out the sky. Um, now, um, this was actually not one of mine. Uh, this was a friend's one. Um, and I've heard of this happening a few times, uh, which is why my advice is very simple. The, there is a setting in the uh, NASA system, uh, which uh, is the voltage protection. And I recommend you switch that off. I'll explain why. Okay. Firstly, as far as your batteries are concerned, you can get one of those uh, little things, uh, those buzzers, voltage buzzers, that you can connect to your battery and set it up. So when it reaches 3.6 volts per cell or whatever you want to set it up to, it'll start buzzing and you'll be able to hear it. Um, if you're running FPV, um, then I would recommend getting a on-screen display, uh, which will show you your voltage um, and you'll be able to uh, also know when you should be coming back um, and you don't have to worry about that. Now the reason I say not to use the DJI low voltage protection is because what it does is when the first voltage protection hits, then it starts flashing. Um, and when the second one hits, it starts flashing. It still flashes red. And it's basically, by the time the second one flashes, it's too late. Now when the, the time between first and second, even if you set it up quite far apart, it actually isn't that far apart. Okay, And if you're far away or if... Um, if you're for some reason in uh, return to home position uh, mode, then it could start doing funny things. And that's what happened to my friend. He has a hexacopter, hit return to home, came back. Uh, it was about, sure, I don't know, uh, close to 250 feet in the air. Um, we could make it out. Um, it was very, very high. Um, and then it just stayed there. Now we know that it stays there for about 10 seconds or so. Um, it's in the manual exactly how much. And then it starts to descend. This one didn't descend. Now we couldn't see uh, at the time, because it was too far away, we could see it, but we couldn't see the red flashing light. Now because of that red flashing light, uh, the low voltage kicked in. And when the second one kicked in, uh, what it does is it, it actually uh, starts to land and reduces power to the motors. Now that's a bit strange. Why would you reduce power to the motors? Okay, uh, I don't know why and you know how that can help. In fact, it makes things even worse. Now what happened was that this thing started to descend, and we're like, oh, it's working. Uh, the only problem was is it started to descend, and then it started getting faster and faster, and then it just hit a free fall, uh, pretty much, and crashed. Now, the reason for that is because by that time, it didn't have enough voltage uh, to keep it up in the air. No, that makes no sense. Even when your battery is very low, uh, there should be enough voltage to at least keep it up in the air and reduce it, uh, bring it down slowly. I've, you know, I've, by mistake, run my batteries uh, over 80%, and they could still fly no issues uh, on, on my different multi-rotors. Um, so, you know, I don't usually do that, but it can be done. So, uh, that makes no sense. So, it's actually the something with the voltage protection, which I don't know how it works, why it works like that. It's just not great. So, switch it off. Use one of the voltage buzzers uh, or an OSD when running uh, FPV. You can get cheap, really cheap OSDs that at least tell you the voltage. And, uh, you know, they'll save your multi-rotor from crashing and burning. Okay. Anyways, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to see our future projects, reviews, and uh, some of the help sessions that we do, like this one. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them below. Let us know. Hopefully, we can uh, try and answer them as best as possible. And we'll see you next time. Ciao.